Okay, so something caught my eye the other day online. How about a chair you can wear? Listen, you know how many ball games I've been to that I could have used this? Okay, well, here's the really cool thing, folks. I think we have a little video there. I mean, look at those pants. <laughs> I mean, that doesn't look dorky at all. At all. But hey. check this out. It may not seem so stable, but that's the point. You can't just, it's not like a lazy boy you can sit back in and recline in. But the makers of this chair, they say it will, you know, like fire your, your core, fire okay. your stabilizers. Yeah. So that, Im that improves posture. You sit up straight. No more slouching. Right. I love this video. They just like randomly get people <laughs> on the side of the road, standing, Walking sitting. down the street. Okay, um, it looks a bit cumbersome. It? Well, that's a good question. It hasn't hit the market yet, of course. This started as a Kickstarter thing. I was going to say, okay. And I think in order to actually get one of these products when it's released to the public, they estimated the shipping was December of last 2018. year. 2018. Oh. I'm not sure. If any of our viewers, by the way, if you ordered this really cool looking chair, will you please let us know on Facebook? We'd love to have you come on the show and just walk around wearing it. Yeah. Watch or, that like, tell us why you wanted it. Tell us it. why you did it. Yeah. But they say that in order to secure your chair for the Kickstarter campaign, which has now ended, it was around like 250 bucks. You need that for Black Friday. I know, or, any, or if you're waiting in line for Astros gear or the Nutcracker market or waiting in line for Cardi B tickets. Rodeo tickets, that's out the window. I know, Cardi B's already gone. sold out. And George Minutes. Strait sold out, too. Minutes, gone. Don't we know someone we could call? I mean... Don't you know George Strait? Yeah, so let's do call, I. get him on the phone. Let's call him. Somebody's going to give us tickets. I forgot his phone number. Can we just hang with you in your suite? Derek and I. Right? That's a very convincing um, ask. We, we will be so much fun. We, we are going to have a great time <laughs> watching the George Strait concert on our phones. Okay, streaming. another weird thing. What is this thing about spiders that you found? What, what's happening here? Well, you know how a lot of people have a thing with spiders? I mean, they hate them. Well, they're scared of them. and Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, finding a spider in our house growing up in Salt Lake, like we had wolf spiders that were, they could eat your face off. Well, so there was this new study. You're not afraid of spiders? No, I, no, I'm not saying I'm not. I, I just, I have bigger issues with other insects. With other insects? I think it's the element of surprise. Like, I don't know, if you find a spider in your bed or you move a pair oh. of shoes and there's a spider running out, I think that's what gets most people, right? I flip out, yes, <laughs> yeah. I just don't, have you gotten a spider bite? Oh, once I had a spider bite, it was like the horrific. end of the world. Horrific. Well, but check this out, though. Okay, I know we're talking about a lot of studies today, but I have a little write-up from the Washington Post here. It says that the spiders in the world, if they all worked together, <laughs> they could actually eat all the humans on Earth in a year. It sounds like it's out of a science fiction movie, folks, but check this out. The world spiders consume somewhere between 400 million and 800 million tons of prey in any given year. So that means that spiders eat as much meat as all the humans on the planet and then some. But what, I mean, they're not seeking us out. Like, they're not, you know what I'm saying? Like, what saying, do they like, eat? If they got a little smarter, they could work together. They're not, that's not going to happen. Bye-bye humans. No. Listen, never say never. Don't you watch movies? These things could happen. I do. Do you watch movies? <laughs> nope. Okay. <laughs> and also, we went down this rabbit hole online. You know, sometimes you, you click on one thing and then another. Uh, okay. So, time, so I found something. Folks, if you're eating lunch right now. Stop. Continue eating. <laughs> Just know that what you're eating may include traces of rat hair rat fecal matter, and all different types of insect parts. There is something, look this up, you'll be oh. glad you did. There is something called the FDA handbook. It's called the defect level handbook for the FDA. Apparently, if you have maggots in your tomatoes or insect fragments and rodent hairs in your food products that you buy in a box, um, that's totally normal. And, you know, we've all consumed them at some point or another. This is a true thing. I, this this I, is actually I know it true. Is. I'm just so grossed out by all of it. Fly eggs? Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, I'm not going to tell you the store where we bought it, but we like to make like a little Caesar salad mix. You what? know, like you get yeah. home from work late and salad. you buy the salad in the bag and, you know, Brandon will mix it up in the bowl, whatever. Brandon was, a, was away a while ago. I made myself this bag of salad. <laughs> that was the whole meal. 
when I'm eating it and I'm thinking, wow, like there are big chunks of black pepper in the salad, so delicious. And as I was about to take a bite, after looking down from watching KPRC news, I noticed one fleck of black pepper seemed quite large. So I kind of like wiped it on the side of the bowl. It was a black fly. I mean, dead? Dead, yeah. yeah. I mean, its wings were, you know, like stuck to. <sighs> you know, that happens. Two I, things. I couldn't finish the rest of the salad. I know. So two things, and I'll tell you one that happened to me, and then one I did a story on. The one that happened to me was still, it's still <laughs> frightening. You found something in your food? I did. But let me tell you, the story I did on was one of these, like, canned vegetable I, I don't I think it might have been green beans or something. Someone opened a can Someone of Someone opened a can of vegetables, poured it out to heat it up. It was a frog. Oh. Inside. It, That's poor frog. Poor frog. Poor human who was about to eat the green beans and found a frog inside. You're worried about the frog? You did it. Of course. I think frogs are adorable. I love that we have them here in Houston. Wait, so what happened then? You did, you covered the story as yeah. a reporter. And what happened to the person? They were just mad they found a frog. Oh, in they there. were disgusted. Like, you know, they're cooking it on there and yeah, it was just that was a weird story. I'm still in shock of your reaction after you just told me about your fly and your salad, but yet you're feeling bad. For I mean, I don't think anyone would be like, "Oh, poor fly died in my salad." But guys, if there are other frog lovers out there, back me up here. Frogs are so cute. And that noise they make you can hear them even when your windows are closed in the summer nights here in Houston, Ribbit? No? No. You don't like frogs? I mean, don't send me frog hate mail, but I, I'm no. Okay, what about roaches? Because those are all over the pl place in Houston, right? Poor or so roach. I've heard. Poor roach, right? No one's gonna say poor roach. A roach and a frog, that's different. Uh, okay, I did, I did find a roach in my food. <laughs> when? <laughs> Not recently. Something you cook? So I will tell I was at a restaurant and I was 10. Here in Houston? I was in San Francisco because my aunts live in San Francisco and I was visiting them. We were out to dinner and I had a, um, you're never going to look at spaghetti and meatballs the same. I had a plate of spaghetti and meatballs. My aunts and my mom, they're all sitting there having this fantastic, look at the bugs on the on the screen. We we don't we don't have a roach problem. We here. don't have a roach problem. No. Thank you for the bugs Those on the are, screen though. Um, <laughs> and so I they were having their moment, right? They're laughing out to dinner, everything's fun. And I ate a bite of my spaghetti and meatballs and I was like, oh, that's crunchy. That's weird. <laughs> that's cr and I went to go pull out whatever was no. crunching <laughs> in my mouth. And I looked Do not. And, Yes, y'all, it was a co I ate a cockroach. I mean, I didn't ingest it, but I bit into it, and I was, like, <laughs> screaming. I screamed bloody murder. And you know what? The waiter came over, and they was like, I'm so sorry. We'll comp your wine. And my mom was like, expletive, expletive, expletive. You will not comp the wine. Your We're sweet not little four-foot-ten yes. Eileen. That was the first time I heard her cuss. <laughs> she shouted it <laughs> out in a restaurant. Yes. Yes. At 10 years old. Yes, she did. She, like, legit... <laughs> wanted to grab the guy by the shirt but I'm we'll I'm, comp your napkin yeah thanks can you I can still see it coming out of what it looked like looking down and coming it out it was the gr but here's the thing spaghetti and meatballs right so the sauce is red and oh, so it's, it's all, all mixed so, so you know it's like almost roach color it was was it a big roach it was like a giant <laughs> it was this big because I pulled it I pulled it out like it was in slow motion okay, we, coming out I of think my you mouth. demonstrated the <laughs> The reveal. Horrible, right? Oh, my right? goodness. Could I, you imagine? No, I went through, I like, three bottles of Listerine. I mean, I couldn't... It was so disgusting. That restaurant's still in business today. Okay, so now that we've sufficiently grossed you out with this action, <laughs> the roach action... Coming out, Let's yes. go to one of our viewer comments. I believe Julie Myers has posted something on Facebook. Those gross little worms, I think they are called mealybugs in my oatmeal. Oh, Julie, listen, you are so right. If Anything you buy in a box or a can, you know, the FDA, they're very transparent about this. They say, listen, if you're a human and you buy food at the grocery store, you're going to get little bits of something in your meal. All right, let's just move on to It's part of being human. It happens. And right. you know what? I did a story once on eating bugs, insects. Cricket tacos are delicious, widely accepted in many cultures, way more sustainable than beef, by the way. So in the future, I think we're all going to be eating insects, personally. and Saving frogs, apparently. And saving frogs because they're adorable. Please weigh in on Facebook.